Hey guys and welcome to another video in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today we're going to be speaking about the main differences between the Max Raid battles. The red one and the purple one. The red one being your basic common type of Max Raid that you'll see all over the place. Presenting sometimes 3 to 4 star Pokemon, usually on the lower end, sometimes 2 stars. If you're still playing through the game at the lower badges and don't have 8 badges yet, you'll probably most likely see 1 star, if not maybe even 2 stars sometimes if you're lucky. But at the beginning of the game, it will only throw one stars at you. By the time you have more badges, it will become more common. And the time, by the time you finish the game, it will become more common to actually see five star max raid battles, which are quite difficult that you will actually need to invite other people because your AI are terrible. They will send the worst Pokemon into the battle with you. Like, it's, it's just, it's insane. So the main differences between these two is that the purple one has a higher chance of giving you a five star raid. And if you're unlucky, probably four stars. <laughs> but every single purple that I have been to at a eight badge gym, eight gym badges, has always been five stars. And five star battles are quite hectic and you can actually catch really really good Pokemon. So what the stars mean is that the Pokemon is a much higher level and it also has much higher stats and you have a much better chance of getting Pokemon with high IVs and at least, at least two maximum best IVs for that Pokemon. Sometimes even up to four max IVs for, for Pokemon in the in the five stars. It's pretty damn insane. So it's a great way to get good Pokemon especially at high end game when you're trying to breed the perfect the perfect type of pokemon for your battles it's just the thing to go to so as your stars go up you also because you're fighting difficult pokemon you'll actually get higher candies so your candies can go from like extra small small medium large and then like extra large and then you can even get rare candies from that extra large giving you 30,000 experience just for using one and obviously a rare candy giving you a full you know experience bar basically uh, giving you a full level up until the next level so you want to keep those until your Pokemon a higher level what you really need to keep in mind is the game will give you a hint of what type of Pokemon you're gonna fight so you'll see on screen it will say either fire bug ghost flying whatever type that Pokemon is and you need to switch to a Pokemon that is effective against that because if you don't you're gonna really struggle and you might end up losing the fight which I haven't actually lost one yet but you can also not be able to catch Pokemon. There are not guaranteed catches. A lot of people think there is a guaranteed catch. You actually are able to not be able to catch a Pokemon and it will happen a lot more as you reach the higher end of the game. Like you'll get like these amazing Pokemon in the game that will rock up and you'll be like, I can't catch this one like this. I, got, <laughs> I couldn't catch a Saint Discord and I was like, damn it. I, mind you, I could just evolve one on my own. But what I did catch was a Halucha and I'm like, dude, Dude, I called a, a five-star Halucha, and my day was like made. I was like, dude, this is this is it. This is the team I take to Leon and destroy him with. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy about that, and it's a great way to get Pokemon that are strong like that. So really focus on your max raids, especially at late game where you're trying to build a heavy team. Look for those purple those purple max raids because those will help you immensely in creating a competitive team that will just destroy everything. You gotta do it, dudes. You gotta do it. You can also get a lot of watts. A lot of watts from doing max rates. But I'll go more into that in a future video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in a future video, as I mentioned. And thanks for watching.